Happy New Year, guys. We're kicking off the year with something absolutely mind blowing. So here's the scoop. Clean AI just dropped version 1.6 and wow, it's next level. So I decided to put it to the test by creating an AI powered Afrobeats animated music video. You heard that right? Afrobeats meets AI magic. In this video, I'll show you exactly how it all came together. Oh, and if you can guess which part of the world this iconic music genre comes from, let me know in the comments section you know, go fear, we go rise we go shine you go see all of the blessings fall on my life blessings there for my life and like that you go grow you know you go feel because the blessings fall on my life blessings fall on my life that's why i lift my hands up high i don't want to carry yesterday's cry i don't want to go back to where i did before make nobody stress me no disturb me no 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 I lift my hands up high I don't wanna carry yesterday's cry The first step in this process is to write your lyrics for your music video and there are a couple of ways you could do this. You could ask ChatGPT directly to write lyrics based off the idea you have. Another way you could also write the script is to find music whose tone or style you like and write something similar for your specific project. So that's what I did. I got lyrics I liked that matched the genre I was trying to create music for. Then I asked ChatGPT to create create a song about being grateful in the new year using this format. ChatGPT provided the breakdown with the chorus, verses, bridge and outro. Once you have your script, the next step before leaving ChatGPT is to break the song into different scenes with various camera shots that highlight the song's meaning. Then I use Suno AI to generate the music. There are multiple AI music generators, but I prefer Suno AI. It has a free plan to start with you click create and it opens a dashboard then select custom to paste the lyrics chat gpt generated after pasting the script you type in the music style in this case it's afro beats slash dance hall once you have the style inputted leave the persona as it is for the title type grateful then click generate. Suno AI will produce two versions of the music for you to choose from. If you'd like to regenerate, you can do so. At the top, you can select different versions of Suno AI. Version 4 tends to offer better quality. Once you've chosen the sound you like, you'll need to break the track into stems, separating vocals from instrumentals. To do this, click on the three ellipses, then create and select get stems. This feature is part of Suno AI's paid plan. If you're on a free plan, you can use a free alternative like vocalremover.org. Simply upload your clip and it will split the audio into vocals and instrumentals, allowing you to save whichever parts you need without any cost. Once we have the music and the vocals all downloaded to the computer, the next thing is to use the description of the images and camera shots that ChatGPT provided when we created the lyrics to create the music video images. I created the images using Midjourney. I used this particular prompt and reference character images to generate generate a character sheet for this specific character I used. Once I generated this character, I upscaled it, downloaded and saved it to my computer. Midjourney is a paid tool, but there are other tools as well that have at least a free trial or free options to try out. You could check out Design AI, which has a free plan you could test out, or Leonardo AI as well. It's important to mention that when it comes to aesthetics of generating images with AI generative platforms like these, different aesthetics suit different platforms. So depending on what you're looking for, you might need to use the platform that is going to create the right aesthetic for you. Once I could generate all the images, which are these for the different scenes of the music video, I use the same process to save them to my computer for the next 
phase. If you want to know in depth how I create these images in Midjourney and how to use different camera shots within your prompt, check out the tutorial linked in the card above and also in the description box. Now we have all the images. I uploaded all of them to Canva to make couple adjustments. One of the main reasons I uploaded the images to Canva was to clean out the mouth of the main character of this video because I wanted to show you a free way you could lip sync your images for music videos like this. After placing the image on the background, zoom in, click on edit and then click on magic eraser. It's going to open up the character sheet. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'll reduce the brush size and use it to brush over the mouth to get rid of it entirely. Next, click on erase. It's going to clean out the mouth of the character. As you can see here, the mouth of the character has been fully erased. By the way, if you're new here, I am Zinni and I make videos on how to use AI to create different types of faceless YouTube channels, as well have online businesses to help you generate additional income. If this type of topics interests you, make sure to subscribe to get more videos just like this one. Talking about faceless YouTube channels, I have put together a free checklist as well as graphics library to help you get started. You can access these freebies using the link in the description box or in the pinned comment of this video. Now that we have our images, the next step is to create a lip sync of our music using a free tool. To create the lip sync, I'll be using Adobe Express. When you come to the Adobe Express website, click on animate characters, it's going to open up a new page. What I've noticed since the last time we talked about Adobe Animate Character or Adobe Express is that they have added a whole plethora of different types of characters, which is a huge improvement. For those who love stick animations, they have quite a lot of new animations in the stick style here. Go to the category, scroll all the way down, and we'll be using just mouth only. In the mouth only, I'll be using happy or you could also use friendly. Both work the same way. Choose that and it will be placed on the canvas here. For the background, choose a custom green color. You'll know why we chose this custom green color in the subsequent step. Then go ahead and click on browse to upload the audio in question that you have downloaded. Something to take note of is Adobe Express does not allow you to lip sync more than a two minute audio. So you need to reduce the length of your audio to two minutes, then create the subsequent part in another batch. Once the audio is uploaded, it will start generating the lip sync. Once that is done, you preview it here and then go ahead to download it. Do the same for the second batch if your music is longer than two minutes. Now we have our lip synced audio, it's time to animate our images and that is where Kling AI version 1.6 comes in. Coming into the platform, we'll be using version 1.6. They have multiple versions, version 1.1, 1.5, but this is the most realistic version they have at the moment. I will use image to video feature, but they also have text to video. Here, I uploaded one of the images that we created in Midjourney. For the prompt, I typed in tracking shot of a man walking forward through the forest. Motion brush isn't supported in version 1.6. For settings, I left it at 0.5 between creativity and relevance. I chose professional mode, which takes about eight minutes to animate the image while standard mode takes about four minutes. The duration is between five to 10 seconds. I chose 10 seconds. I just wanted to generate one version of the animation. For the negative prompt, you can words of things you don't want to see in the animation like blur, distortion or disfiguration and then click generate. Note that Clean AI is a pay tool. Not to worry, in subsequent videos, I'll be covering some amazing tools that are not as expensive or gives generous free trials that still produce good quality results. The animation is done. Let play this example 
and see what it looks like. You can see how it's tracking the young guy walking through the forest beautifully. Once you're done creating the animation, click on the download button. You can choose between download with watermark or without watermark. And this is the steps I use to animate all the images in the music video. Now that we have the music, the vocals, the lip synced version and the animated images, it's time to put everything together and we'll be using CapCut. Coming into CapCut, the first thing I did was to bring in all the clips that I needed for the video. Then to explain what you can see on the timeline here, the first thing I did was to pull in the lip synced clip that we generated from Adobe Express to the timeline and also pull in that image of the main character with his mouth wiped the mouth and then made sure that the image is stretched out to cover the length of the green background with the lip synced mouth. Next, click on the lip synced mouth with the green background, click on remove BG, then chroma key and use the color picker to click on the green color. Once you do that, it's going to take away the background, leaving only the mouth. We're just going to increase the intensity a bit because we want to remove the green highlight at the edges of the mouth. Once that is done, we're going to move this or reduce it. You can scale it down to be placed at the mouth of the character in such a way that it fits. Play through the clip to make sure the mouth is sitting properly. Then select both clips, right click and click on create compound clip and it's going to come combine everything into one single clip. I did this step because I don't want things moving around when I start placing effects and transitions. Then I went ahead to start placing the different clips in the different areas to represent what the music was talking about. Once I had done putting in the clips, I went ahead to add a couple of effects. As you can see here at the very top, I put in a couple of transitions to make the music come alive. Depending on what you want, you could go all guns blazing, adding more effects to represent what the music is talking about. Once I had all of these put together, I went ahead to export it out of CapCut and that's how the music video was created. Here is the full video. We go shine, you go see All of the blessings fall on my life Blessings there for my life And like that, you go grow You know, you go feel Because the blessings fall on my life Blessings fall on my life That's why I lift my hands up high I don't wanna carry yesterday's cry I don't wanna go back to where I did before Make nobody stress me, no disturb me No, no, no I lift my hands up high too many trials, too many mountains, but now you they guide me through all the challenges, too many struggles and not enough peace, but your love cover me like an enemy. I just wanna dance under your mercy Make nobody stop my thanksgiving, no No, 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 no That's why I lift my hands up high I don't wanna carry yesterday's cry I don't wanna go back to where I did before Make nobody stress me, no disturb me, no, no, no I lift my hands up high I don't wanna carry yesterday's cry, no Thank you, Lord, 
for one another, yeah Blessings to flow, everywhere clear Creating videos like this for your faceless YouTube channel or other projects takes so much more than what I covered in this video. If you're ready to dive deeper and learn the full detailed steps, check out the complete course I created. It's packed with everything you need to succeed. Click this video and I'll see you there.